What's up guys? So we have some exciting news today. Apparently the beta demo, the Space World beta demo for Pokemon Gold and Silver got leaked and people have been data mining it and they found a ton of unreleased mons. Some of them are pre-evolution, some of them are evolutions, and some of them are mons that didn't get released till way later. So this is really cool, especially for those of you like me who have grown up on these games. And it's, it's really neat to look back and see all these mons that didn't quite make the cut. Honestly, some of these I really wish that they would go ahead and release. Some of them are really cool, so let's get started here. So, first we have Mewtwo and Mew. Obviously not very exciting because these are mons that we already have. Next we have Chikorita, which the beta version of Chikorita honestly looks like its final version. <laughs> I think its name was Hoppa or something like that. Next we have Bayleaf, which is honestly one of the they changed the hell out of this one. This was the beta bay leaf. This thing does not look anything like its final product. It kind of looks interesting though. I kind of I kind of dig it. It's like a little like a forest sprite thing. I don't know. It, it's kind of neat. Next we have Meganium, which honestly <laughs> looks about the same to the final product really. Next we have the fire starter. So this is like that little fire bear thing that we saw or a lot of us have seen over the years. Um, I can't remember its name, it's like Hanaguma, maybe something like that, I can't remember its name, but uh, that's what that is. Next we have the Fire Starters Evolution, it's middle stage, I don't know its name. Uh, and then finally we have the Fire Starter Final Evolution, and this thing looks kind of like a beefed up Flareon in my opinion. Next we have the Water Starter, so obviously this is nowhere near what Totodile looks like. Uh, I can't remember its name, but its name is out there. Um, but yeah, I really wish that this, I love Totodile and Feraligator, but I kind of wish that this was the water starter. I don't know. I just love this thing. Next we have its middle stage and I don't really like it as much as its pre-evolution. And then finally we have its final stage and I, I kind of like it, but I don't know. I think I like Feraligator more than this one. Next we have Beta Hoot Hoot and, uh, honestly it doesn't really look all that different there's like little dots on its face but when you look at beta noctowl this thing changed a lot uh i i don't know how i feel about this one it kind of resembles a dartrix in my opinion but uh that's pretty neat so next we have beta mareep which honestly looks about the same beta flaffy which i think is the same um and then beta Ampharo, so Honestly, these mons didn't change much. I think, actually, back in the day, Ampharos was supposed to be a, an electric dragon type. So it's kind of neat that once they gave Ampharos a mega, they went with that typing. So here, this is awesome. So apparently, Vulpix had a pre-evolution, and its name literally translates to, like, three tails or something like that. It's so adorable. I love how its head is, like, on fire. I love this thing. I wish this thing was real. Please, Game Freak, make this a reality. Next, I don't know what the hell this thing is. It's like some little grass dude. Um, it, it, it couldn't be Tangela, right? Because, or you know what? Maybe it's actually a Tangela pre-evolution. That could be what that is. And then this could be the beta Tangro that was never released. So, I don't know what these two mons are. Um... But my, my guess is it's something related to Tangela. So next we have this mon, and honestly this kind of makes me think it's a beta version of uh, Mantine, or Mantine. Um, I mean, what else could it be? It's like, it's it's a manta ray with wings and shit. Like, what else, what else could it possibly be? Next we have Quillfish. Obviously this is a mon that's already in the games. We already know Quillfish. It's been around forever. But... The cool thing is Quillfish actually had a Mega Evolution. Now what's interesting is it looks like they might have taken elements from Quillfish's evolution to make Mons like Whizcash because it has that little lightning bolt on its head and the lips. <laughs> and uh, it also might, it, there are back sprites of these Mons. Um, I, I couldn't find them for this video, but if I remember, I'll put it up on screen, but the back sprite actually kind of resembles a Stunfisk in one of the other games, one of the older Pokemon games. So they might have taken like little elements of this mon and made it into Whiskash and Stunfisk. That's pretty neat. 
So this, I believe, is the beta version of Pichu. <laughs> it's like a little ball of electricity. I, I don't know. It's kind of it's it's pretty adorable. Next, we have uh, I think ah fuck, what is that thing called? Is it Happini? I think that's what that is. I don't know. It, it's definitely an interesting looking mon. Let's say the least. It looks like it has like a little pimple on its head. <laughs> Next, we have the. Uh, I cannot remember Jigglypuff's pre-evolution. Ah, fuck, what is it called? But anyway, that's that's what it's supposed to be. Igglybuff, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what that's supposed to be. And uh, honestly, it didn't really change a hell of a lot. I mean, I guess its shape changed a little bit. Next, we have my boy Quagsire. It changed slightly. Um, I think on its back sprite, it's a little bit different as well. Um, but... For the most part, Quagsire still looks the same. Next, we got my boy Natu Day. <laughs> and uh, Natu basically looks the same, honestly. Same with uh, Zatu here. Uh, okay, so this mon, I can't tell if this is like a Goldeen pre-evolution. I want to say it It looks like it, but it, it looks more like a baby Sea King, if anything. But obviously, Goldeen is the pre-evolution of Seeking. So this has to be like a Goldeen pre-evolution. That's pretty neat. So this is uh, Meryl, or Beta Meryl, or Pika Blue, or whatever. Um, it's like really pink though, which is kind of weird. This mon, I have no clue what that's supposed to be. Perhaps like a Quillfish pre-evolution? Honestly, not sure. Actually, no, it wouldn't be because it's way later in the Pokedex. I'm not sure what the hell this thing is, but uh, yeah, it's a little little fish dude all right so this is probably one of the coolest ones it's actually a shark but its tail is an anchor I fucking love this thing game freak please get on this I want I want this more than anything that is so fucking cool next we have what I'm assuming is like the beta lantern it looks kind of derpy honestly <laughs> It's it's definitely interesting looking. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a beta lantern or beta huntail or something. Who fucking knows? But it it looks really weird. Next we got beta crobat, which basically looks the same. So apparently Paris was supposed to have a pre-evolution, or at least that's what I think that is. It looks like it anyway, and uh, it's pretty fucking adorable. I like that little guy. I I kind of wish this was real too. Next we have Spinarak, which is pretty much the same. Uh, fuck, what is this thing called? I, ca I cannot remember the name of this thing for some reason. Ariados. So that's Beta Ariados. Ariados actually changed a little bit. Um, it looks more spidery here, but uh, that's kind of neat. Got Beta Skarmory, basically looks the same. This guy is really interesting, so it actually... It kind of looks like a Sandy Ghast. I'm not sure what they were going for here, but it kind of looks like a beta Sandy Ghast. And it would be really interesting if that's actually what it is, because Sandy Ghast is a mon that didn't get released until like fucking 7th gen. So this would be years and years ago. So that's pretty, that's pretty wild. Now this thing, I have no clue what this is supposed to be. It wouldn't be a baby uh, Dodrio, or Doduo, sorry. Uh, because obviously Doduo is a thing so it and it has two heads this thing has three heads I'm not sure what the hell this is supposed to be at all um, I mean I guess it's kind of interesting looking I don't know we got beta Sunfloor, which it essentially looks the same baby fanfi honestly about the same really beta or, I keep saying baby I keep I, I don't know why I keep saying that I meant beta Every time I say baby, I mean beta. <laughs> we got beta Don fan here. Now this thing is really interesting. I'm not sure exactly what this is uh, supposed to be, but I was watching a video, um, and somebody said that this is supposed to be beta, the pre-evolution of Girafferig, because Girafferig is next in the Pokedex here. But apparently Girafferig was supposed to have a, a pre-evolution, and this is it. I don't know how I feel about that, but maybe Girafferig was supposed to be like part ghost or something I'm I'm not sure but uh, giraffe rig actually has like normally it has two heads but this one actually literally has two giraffe heads instead of the little ball thing on its tail 
So, uh, Beta Giraffe Rig looks uh, pretty pretty interesting, actually. And then we got Smeargle, which honestly looks the same. We've got Baby Meowth, or Beta Baby Meowth. This, uh, this is a pre-evolution to Meowth. It, it looks fucking adorable. I love this thing. They should definitely make this a thing. Next, I'm not sure what this mod is. Uh, I think this is just an unreleased mod. I don't know the name of it, but it looks cool. And I'm guessing this is like the evolution. Originally, I thought this was uh, Beta Umbreon, but as we'll see later, Umbreon is actually in the Pokédex, so that's not what this is. So I don't know what the hell this thing is, but it looks cool. So this happy motherfucker looks like it's a Beta version of Poly uh, Politoed, and uh, that's that's pretty cool. Although I gotta say, I really like the the version of Politoed we have now. Next we got Slowking, looks about the same. Unknown, looks the same. We got Ladyba, which looks the same. And then we've got Lady Inn. Lady Inn changed a lot. So this mon doesn't even look close to what we have now. So that's pretty neat. Oh, and also it has the little five stars on its back, and uh, in the Pokedex it's the five star mon, so that's why uh, that's why it's called the five star mon, by the way. We got uh, Beta Ponyta, obviously, still looks the same. Now, Espeon is a little bit different. It's actually yellow instead of like a purplish, pinkish color. It's kind of interesting, but other than that, it looks about the same. All right, so Umbreon. Now, Umbreon's actually kind of interesting. Apparently, Umbreon used to be a poison type. Um, I don't know where they got that from, but I think in its Pokedex, it says it oozes like some kind of poison. Um, I think that's just a leftover artifact from Umbreon's beta. So this is really cool and this is something that I've wanted them to do ever since I was a kid. So apparently this is like a new form of Cloyster or it's some form of Shelter evolution but it's essentially Slowbro's tail or Slow King's hat but it's its own Pokemon. That is really cool. I really wish that they made this thing its own Pokemon. But, uh, yeah, I wonder uh, how strong this thing used to be. That's pretty neat. So this thing, I have no freaking idea what the hell this was supposed to be. It, it honestly just looks like a ditto with a, a clown nose and two little eyes. I, I'm not sure what the hell this is supposed to be. Next we have Remoraid, which kind of looks like a revolver, which is kind of cool. I really like this, actually. And you guys are going to love this next one. Octillery has a fucking helmet on and oh my god it looks amazing I fucking love this shit I wish that they would give Octillery like a mega evolution or something and, and bring back this design it looks so fucking funny so this thing I'm not sure what the hell this is supposed to be it looks kinda cool though I like it what the hell did they do to Hitmontop look at this thing it looks crazy I I am so happy we have the Hitmontop we have today. This thing is just fucking wild looking. I, I don't like this at all. So next we have this little guy. I'm not sure what the hell that's supposed to be. I don't know its name or anything. Next we have Beta Hopip, which <laughs> has black face going on, which is a little weird. But I'm not sure why they made Hopip black like that. But I don't know. It, it kind of looks cool, actually. Next we have, uh, is it Skiploon, I think? Something like that. It looks kind of similar to its final evolution. And next we have uh, Jumpluff, I believe, which they changed Jumpluff a lot in the, uh, in the final version. But I, I kind of dig it. It's adorable. So here we have Mime Jr. This thing is so fucking funny looking. Oh my god, it looks like a little egg with little, little stub arms and a little magician hat. I fucking love this thing. It's so funny looking. Next we have uh, Smoochum, Baby Jinx. And uh, honestly, it didn't really, didn't really change all that much. It's still got black face going on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it didn't really change much. And then we have Elekid. Uh, so this thing, it, it kind of changed a, a decent amount. Um, I don't know. I I still prefer the version that we have today, but it's it's kind of cool. It, it's it looks more egg-like. It's definitely adorable. 
And then we have Mag B, which kind of still looks the same, I think. And there's Blossom, which <laughs> looks really black face there, but I don't know. It's it's basically the same. What the hell is this thing? It looks like a freaking Bell Sprout evolution or something. I'm not sure. But it's weird because Victory Bell was a Gen 1 mon, so maybe they were Maybe they were going to make like a split evolution tree, kind of like they did with Oddish. Um, but yeah, that's really, really bizarre looking. I, I don't know how I feel about that one. So there's Miltank. Uh, whatever this thing is, that's really cool though. I actually really kind of like this. It's like a fire seal, but it's like the ball it's playing with is like a big, I don't even know, like a, a ball of fire, I guess. I don't know. But uh, that's actually pretty neat. I actually really like that. I kind of wish this was real. Well, I mean, it is real, but I kind of wish it was, like, released. And then we have Delibird, which uh, looks a hell of a lot more like Santa Claus in this version. Next, we have a Pikachu clone. I'm, not, I'm honestly not sure what the hell this is. And then this thing evolves into an even bigger version of it. Um, again, not sure what the hell the names are on these, but it looks kind of neat. I don't know. I could see it being like a, a plush or something like that. I, I kind of wish it was real. So what the hell is this thing? Is this like a far-fetched evolution or something? It looks like a bird, but it also looks like it has a baseball bat like tucked up under its wing. I don't know what the hell this thing is. It looks, it looks pretty funny though. I, I like it a lot. I kind of wish this was real. So I'm not sure what the hell this thing is, but it looks cool. It looks kind of like a voodoo doll in my opinion. I'm not sure. This looks like a super early version of Pancham. And I'm, I'm guessing that's what this was. But it's interesting because Pancham is a mon that didn't get released until like Gen 6, I want to say. So yeah, they, uh, they held on to this design for a while. Murkrow used to have a... <laughs> an even more sinister looking hat. It had a literal hat instead of its feathers like becoming the hat. That's pretty neat. I don't know what the hell this thing's supposed to be. Uh, hmm. It looks like it'd be like one of those really annoying normal types that are like super bulky, have really massive def or not defense, but HP. It kind of looks like it would be a chancy kind of kind of deal. But uh, I don't know. I kind of it's it's kind of adorable. Now, Beta Scizor looks really cool. It has, like, it, it it's green like Scyther, but it also has, like, little horns and shit all over its body. I, I kind of dig it. I kind of wish Scizor looked like that, but red. Like, nowadays. That would be pretty badass. So, apparently, Pinsir was supposed to get an evolution in these games, and I'm assuming that Heracross was going to be Pinsir's evolution. So, that's... That's pretty damn neat, actually. I don't know what the fuck is up with its face. It kind of looks demonic. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what's up with its face, but it, I, I kind of fuck with it. I like it. So we've got uh, Houndoom, Houndour, um, whatever the hell this thing's supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's, I don't know. It's really interesting looking, though. I kind of dig it. Ooh. Okay, so whatever that was, it evolves into this thing. I really like this thing. I kind of wish this was real. It kind of... I don't know. It kind of gives off, like, the shift tree vibe, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but... I don't know. I really like this thing, though. kind of wish this was real. And then, whatever the hell this thing is, this is one of the most derpy mons I've ever seen. I don't know if this is, like, supposed to be, like, a beta cast form thing. Because it kind of has, like... The little balls all over its head like cast form does when it turns into a sun form but <laughs> i don't know it, it's really interesting looking i i would imagine it would be like a normal type but i'm not sure i, I could see it being electric too I, I don't know this is a really interesting little what whatever the hell it is i could see it being electric normal uh shit i don't know <laughs> or steel or i don't know but it's interesting looking. So next we have the 
I'm assuming the beta version of Licky Licky, which is kind of cool. That's a mod that didn't get released till like Gen Four, so it's it's interesting. I don't know what the hell's up with its head though, and it has like little whiskers. I don't. It's really bizarre looking, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of like it. Steelix basically didn't change. I think we're getting to the end though. Uh, so this is Beta Kingdra, which is pretty neat. I actually really kind of like it. Uh, it's kind of odd that it has arms though. Obviously, Kingdra doesn't have arms, but uh, I kind of I kind of like it. Okay, so this is supposed to be Beta Raiko, and it's more of a dog. This is supposed to be Beta Entei, and this is supposed to be Beta Suicune. So. I don't know, they changed the hell out of these. They really changed these a lot. Um, I really don't like the designs. The only one I really like is like the Entei design. But the other two, I really don't care for at all. Uh, so this one is supposed to be a Beta Sneasel, I think. I believe. But uh, it's pretty cute, I like it. This is supposed to be Beta Ho-Oh, obviously. And what's interesting is apparently Ho-Oh originally was going to be a mono flying type. So that's pretty cool. This Beta Togepi pretty much looks the same. Baby, or, uh, beta Snuggle, Snuggle, Snubble uh, pretty much looks the same. Uh, beta Ambipom, or Apom rather, <laughs> its, its name literally translates to tail. But, uh, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. I Although, again, it's another situation where I like the design that we have now. But, uh, it's kind of neat. Alright, I think this is the last one, but apparently this is Leafeon. Now, Leafeon is a mon that didn't get released till Gen 4. So, it's kind of interesting that Leafeon was all the way back. It was, it was originally supposed to be a Gen 2 mon. That's, that's pretty damn cool. Although I like the way that they did it in the end, where they only gave us two extra evolutions, Umbreon and Espeon. I think three would have been a bit much, but it, it's it's definitely neat. I like it, and uh, it's pretty cool that they revisited some of these old designs and released them later with an updated look. But anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I, I know I did. I I fucking love some of these. They are so awesome. But uh, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I love you. And uh, have a great day. Peace out.